I'm going to do a table and graph from scratch and I'm just going to put raw data in here. So uh, let's just uh, change the temperature, let's say. Uh, let's change concentration uh, since that's more likely uh, going to be done. Uh, and there's not going to be an error done on that because so there's no plus or minuses um, because that is going to be done in uh, with volumetric uh, glassware. So I won't have an error on that. Uh, we're under five. Repetition of three. Um, so we're going to have trial uh, one, two, three. Uh, we're going to measure the... Uh, have an ammeter in there, so there's a current. Uh, that is doesn't be teared, so that's um, half the smallest increment, but it's an digital, so it's um, plus or minus uh, the smallest digit. I'm, I'm not quite sure what that is. As I said, I'm just making this up. Uh, so yours will be slightly different. So insert symbol, uh, find the plus or minus uh, around here somewhere. Um, I've used it before, so it's in the commonly used ones. Um, and so the ammeter, I don't know what that is, um, to, let's do it to 0.01, um, and that will be in uh, amps, uh, maybe it's milliamps, uh, amps, not quite sure, doesn't really matter, don't want to have it exactly the same, um, and so you're going to do it once, um, I guess when the concentration go up, the, the thing will go up, but um, not too fast uh, about that, and so we'll go um, 1.0, um, two, um, 1.02, we need to get uh, a range of data. Okay, so there's some, just some random data. Uh, so we wanna have an average for that. Um, we also want to have um, absolute uncertainty because obviously the um, uncertainty of uh, the random error in this thing, so you did this one, then did it again, then did it again, uh, is obviously more significant than the instrumental error, so that is uh, important to do. Uh, so I think that's all we need there. Um, and so I think we've got uh, plus and minuses there. So we know that that is going to be our table, so we will put um, borders around it. Uh, I usually I like to just grab the whole thing and center it. Uh, we want to make these things uh, look nicer, so I'll just uh, bold those, um, bold that area too, bold that area there. Uh, want to wrap that so we can see it. Um, still doesn't look that great, so I'll just widen it up a little. Just grabbing that. Um, and what else are we doing? So that. Um, that covers that area there, so I'll merge it. Uh, that covers that area um, over here, so I'll merge that. That's covered over there, so I'll merge that. And we're sort of looking okay. I think that one could do with a wrap and a little bit of um, there. So the calculations, uh, so that's, um, that's all part of one thing as well. And I think we're okay for that. So absolute uncertainty, average, so you go up to here, go for an average, pull that back a little and press enter uh, and then you want that um, all the way down here. Uh, so we've got, we've got here uh, one sig fig, so we go over to here and just arrange that. Uh, this is two sig figs, um, so we will Leave everything there is two sig figs. Uh, and so that's your average down there. Now the absolute uncertainty, that's gonna be a little bit trickier. So uh, we want to um, divide by two, um, the highest and the lowest. Uh, and so to get the highest and the lowest, we're gonna to have to minus them from each other. So we're gonna to have to have the, uh, the max uh, from uh, this area here. Um, and then we minus that uh, from the min, the minimum number um, from this area, uh, this area here. And so that's not working very nicely for us. It's um, 
f5 to h5 I might just copy that there and do it that way because it doesn't want to let me paste that over so I'll do that and press Control v as a paste press enter and so this formula here uh, so f5 to h5 um, the minimum number the minimum value in that minus the, ma the, the maximum value minus the minimum value divided by 2 and so that's 0 0.49 which is much bigger than 0 0.01 uh, and so I copy that and paste that down and there we have the absolute uncertainties for those values all right so that is a uh, decent table then uh, units uncertainty sig figs um, all set out quite nicely that's all good to copy and paste into your science student experiment so now we're doing the graph so how long did that take um, it took a little while um, and I hold down the control button and I can grab that uh, and then I insert uh, scatter graph voila before I do anything, make sure you have grabbed uh, a large, go to quick layout and grab a large number of graph, a uh, large number of um, grid lines. Uh, concentrations here, so I just grab that, go to control, uh, go over here, and press paste. Uh, this one's current, plus or minus 018, so control C, control V. Um, I don't really want a series here. And I have uh, now I need the line of best fit. So left left mouse click, uh, add a trend line. So when the concentration is zero, the current might not be zero. Uh, would have been good to have control actually and start at zero. Uh, but that looks linear. That so that looks okay. We'll keep it at linear. We won't go through uh, setting the inter intercept, but we will show the R squared and we will show the equation of the line. Uh, in case we want to do some calculations later, R squared 0.95 is not fantastic, but it's not too bad. Uh, and now we need to do error bars. So we're going to go for the uh, more significant error bars, the biggest error. Uh, and we could just apply 0.85 across uh, the whole lot, but um, Excel allows us to do a little bit more. So we can um, double click on the on the, the line until you get this here. So you just go to uh, error bars more error bars uh, we want to do a custom and we're going to specify the value and there is no error bars for that for the concentration so we delete that and do it again custom specify value so we're doing uh, this here below and just delete that out and this above so I just had the wrong one clicked uh, and so that's the correct error bars. You can see that this one here too is quite large, which agrees. And this one here is the smallest, which is not too bad, which is up there. Uh, and so the line of best fit as well within the error bars are quite huge errors. I'm sure you'll have much smaller error, um, perhaps even within the instrumental range, um, but we'll see. So that is uh, the table and graph ready to analyze, you just copy that and paste that into your SC. Uh, so copy the table, copy the, the graph and copy, paste into your SE. Okay, so uh, pretty quick, I hope. Uh, under 10 minutes and that's with, with explaining. So you could possibly do that in uh, five minutes without talking. All right, thank you.